If you want to create a list, then you can use either numbered list or bulleted list. So let's just go over here and then press enter right here. So let's say I'm going to say item uh, one, item two, and item three right here. So just like this, I got three items. So what I can do is I can select these three and then click on this button right here to enable numbered list. And you can see that it's one, two, three right there. You want to change out the layout right over here. You can go around here and then choose from different numbered points. So right now it's one. If you were to press this one, you can see that uh, the format is different. You press this, the format is different. You press this, the format is different. So now if I were to go over here and press enter, you can see that I can add an item in between right over there. And I can go over here on the left side and press tab on my keyboard to indent it out so that it becomes a sub list as you can see right over there. So everything is automatically formatted for you. You want more sub lists, press enter and then over here press tab and you can see right here. So this is how it actually works out. You can press tab and then work around with a lot of things right here. You can decrease and increase the indent right here as well. As you can see, you can decrease to go back further, go back further, increase the indent to go back even uh, like in more inside as you can see right there. So similarly, what you can do is you can go around and choose around. So you want to go around here uh, on the format, change that out. You can see that you can choose from different format. Let's say you want to restart numbering somewhere. Let's say I want to restart out from here because it's a different list or something. Let's say I have this and you don't want. Okay, so as I actually type in the list right here, uh, this is what happens. Press enter, you can see that more numbers pop up. So I can actually go around and delete this by pressing the backspace key as well. I want to restart the number from right here I, or I want to change the format, I can right click and over here, you can see that I have an option right here. So I can right click over here. I can change out this as well. So I want to restart the numbering right here. So right click and click on restart number. And then I can restart the number from one, as you can see right over there as well. So you want to um, disconnect out the list. You can do that as well. So now let's just see other option. You can go around here and then change that to bulleted list as well by pressing this. So you can go around, choose different options as you can see, and they have different presentation. You want to change out the bullets, you can simply right click and choose the bullet that you want right over here and they will be changed out for you just like that. You can also go to more bullets and use any symbol that you, want, you can find right here as well. So you want to go over here and then let's say for example, change from number just like this. You want to use something like this right here and that will be used as bullets as well. So it's very, very detailed as you can see right here. You can customize it uh, on the way you want. And that is how you can work with a numbered list and bulleted list inside of Google Docs. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.